What's up guys, it's the Film Team, back again with another video, and today we will be talking about Denis Villeneuve's two most recent films in preparation for Dune, Arrival and Blade Runner 2049. So without further ado, thank you so much for clicking, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let's get into the video. Denis Villeneuve was born in Quebec in 1967 as the oldest of four children. He played hockey for a short time in his youth, but after he got into sci-fi French comics, he developed an interest in film. He began to make short movies at his high school, and his favorite movies at the time were Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 2001, and Blade Runner. So after studying sciences in the cinema, he decides to make a career out of making movies. So let's talk about some of those things that he's made, because they're pretty great. Time to review. They need to see me. Dr. Bank? Are you insane? Arrival was released in 2016, starring Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, and Forrest Whitaker. I have seen this film multiple times before making this video, and I just have to say that right off the bat, this is an incredibly beautiful film. Denis Villeneuve consistently uses different tones of blues and oranges to create very great contrast in his compositions. And it absolutely owns the Max Richter song. Like, sorry if I butchered the name, but I wouldn't have even guessed that the song was not originally made for Arrival. What other song just fits so perfectly? I mean, this is like Tarantino level song dropping skill. Not to mention, I heard this song playing on TV when I was watching Shutter Island not too long ago, and it just felt so wrong. Because this is a rival song! But anyway, the exposition in this movie is also delivered incredibly well, whereas in most movies, exposition can be boring, stale, dull, and stupid. Denny Villeneuve figures out a way to just make it so much more interesting. Explaining the details and nuances of their situation by showing different news reports from different people around the world, whether that be on daytime television or even on YouTube. And I love Amy Adams' performance in this movie. I mean, her warmth and charm is just such a balance between the cold mystery of the creatures, which by the way are pretty incredible. I mean, they're, they're very interesting but very simple, and the language concepts are very interesting as well. And I love the themes in this movie. I feel like it's just so universal that anyone anywhere can watch this movie and really get something out of it. And the pacing in this movie is just so masterfully done, how it starts off relatively slow and then it starts building and building and building until when the aliens arrive everything just goes full throttle and let's not even mention the flash forwards <sighs> simply put arrival is a flawless movie i didn't even know a movie could be that good wow five stars easily next Blade Runner was released in 2017 starring Ryan Gosling, Anna de Armas, and Harrison Ford. And this was the first time I watched the movie all the way through to make this video. Like Arrival, this movie is stunningly beautiful and Villeneuve continues to use his tones of orange and blues to just really dig in this world. And can we just have five seconds of applause for Roger Deakin cinematography? Yeah. And just like the first Blade Runner movie, I feel like the production design is probably my favorite part of the film. How they construct these different vehicles and costumes and cityscapes to really drive home this broken futuristic world. However, the story can be a bit draggy for me at times because personally I'm not really a huge fan of the Blade Runner series. And while I liked how Arrival sort of accelerated to its climax, I have personally felt like this film didn't really have the same acceleration. But that's not a problem in any way on the movie, that's just a subjective thing that made it a little bit harder to watch for me. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm on the Anna de Armas train. I'm like all the way down for her to become some Hollywood superstar. And although the story is a bit cold to me, nevertheless it is an incredibly well executed film. And this along with Arrival are just prime examples of how Denis Villeneuve is just an absolutely marvelous director. And there are so many iconic moments that this movie has created, like the fight between Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford in the holographic arena, or one of my favorite moments of the film, the love scene between Anna de Armas and Ryan Gosling. 
I really enjoyed how they put a futuristic spin on a sort of modern day activity. I feel like her did a similar thing in 2013. And I also really enjoyed that Villeneuve chose to cut from the action to show Joy's marketing ad or hologram in the city. Because for me, it just really drove home the development of these characters and also the development of this world. And it kept it clean. Final take. I give Blade Runner 2049 4 out of 5 stars. I'm not a huge fan of the Blade Runner stories in general, but this is a stunningly executed film that is just another example of how incredible Denis Villeneuve is. Overall, Villeneuve is consistently knocking it out of the park with movies like Prisoners, Enemy, Sicario, Arrival, Blade Runner. I mean, he's undeniably an incredible director no matter what he touches. And making this video got me very excited for Doom. I plan to be at the theater to see it, no matter what, at all costs. Just kidding you guys, we all need to be trying extra hard to stay safe. But speaking of going to theaters, are any of you guys excited for Tenet? Because wow, I mean, I was just thinking, I could make an entire video on Nolan just to prepare for Tenet. And it's supposedly coming out sometime soon, in the fall. But regardless of whether it gets moved or not, I think it would be really fun to make a video on Nolan. So please, if you're interested in Christopher Nolan's films, comment down below and let me know which two you think I should review on my channel. And honestly, I might just do a full video on him because all of his movies are so different. But at the same time, they're all distinctly his. So please, like, comment, subscribe, whatever, whatever, and continue to support this channel. I really love interacting with you guys. All comments are appreciated, and I will try to respond if you want me to. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've made it to the end, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.